Hey, what's up everyone? This is Kenny again at uh, KP Dev Design and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up the home page and also how to make this page a one page setup. So let me give you an example of a one page or a single page um, setup. Let's go to the X thing and if you go here you notice that when you click on one of these menu items like let's say demos the page scrolls down and instead of having to click on a menu item and for it to like let's say open a new link like this then you know that's that's completely different we want it to do exactly what what it does here so if you click on extensions it'll go up nice and smooth or stacks um, or you click on features and you see that it scrolls up or down so that's pretty much the whole purpose of a single page it's a single page with all the information on one single page so you, you know let, let me give you another example when you click on X it actually doesn't scroll up as you notice it actually you know reopens the whole page you see it refreshes and it goes so we want it to do this scroll up or down so let's get started um, right now the page we're using is not the home page where we want to use it's using the demo content I want the one that I that we we did prior to the uh, this video tutorial which is the one with the um, with the slider and the images and stuff like that so you have to set up your own page so you go to settings and then you go to reading and you set up your own page. In this case, it's using a demo. We want to use the page we created in the last video tutorial. So you save changes. Now you're able to go back and, uh, matter of fact, let's just close this and let's open it up fresh. So by um, left clicking and holding the control button, you click here and it will open it up fresh. And now you see now we have the actual home page that we want for the users to view as soon as they uh, put the uh, URL here to our page that's cool okay so now if you go to this site it will actually show you how to um, set up the uh, one page navigation so <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and do this ourselves <clears throat> I've done this once, so hopefully I can't recall all the steps, but the good thing is we have this here to go back to if we forget. So let's go ahead and go to our page. And this is the page we're working with. This is the front page and the post page. We're talking about the front page for now. So what we want to add here is, um, let me set this up like this. It's always good to work with like this. So, what we want to add is the the menu. We have to add more items to the menu because currently, if you take a look at this, we only have home blog and portfolio. So let's add different items here. We might make some changes. Let's see. Um, so here you go to appearance and you go to menus and right now we currently have home blog and portfolio so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a whole new menu so let's create a new menu and we're gonna call this um, single page menu create the menu and we're going to add the items that we want to use here so let's go ahead and add the home menu in this case we're going to add this one now the demo home so add to menu and I'm going to go ahead and add these other menus just in case if I want to take a peek at them in the future what I do most of the time so add to menu and in this case I'm gonna make it a sub menu to, from home menu 
this is going to be a sub menu like that we only see home menu we don't see this unless if we click on home menu okay and now we're going to add new links and the ones that are we're going to add are custom links and the way that single page is done is through custom links so if you go to custom links if you go to the uh, information where they um, explain how it's done they explain that you have to go to the custom link portion so So, so for example, if we take this right here and we um, just copy it and go straight to here, you enter this in the URL, that's pretty much it. And the numbers correspond to your page. let's uh, show you real quick for example here you hit it uh, click on our inspect elements and we're looking for content band one so as soon as you click on this men this menu item which we're creating let's say uh, about you save this menu and so now as soon as you click on about, it's going to go to this portion of the website right here, which is right under the slider. So it's going to move smoothly down over here. And if you look for the other ones, you have content um, band 9. This is all the way at the bottom. And when you click on this content band 9, it's a little more to the top. Here it is, legal aid. So this is content span nine, legal aid. So when you click on whatever menu you correspond to contents nine, it's going to smoothly go to legal aid. So let's go ahead and finish this. Where's the about page? Contents menu. Let's see. If you all okay, should be in here. Let's recreate this again. All right. So let's recreate this again. Um, single page contents panel one about. Well, it looks like added added to menu that's why so add to menu okay so now we have it here save it and let's give it a try let's make sure we have the actual the right menu here so the primary menu we want to set up as the single menu to save changes and uh, all we need to do is um, refresh and now you see we only have home and about. So as soon as I click on about, it does what it's intended to do, which is to scroll down. Let's add more menus here, more menu items. Let's go to edit. I'm gonna go ahead and add at least three more. So the, th the third one is gonna be service. Services. Ah, wrong place. Belongs here. And let's just put here content band. Let's look at this real quick. Let's see where number two and number three, number four. Where is it located? So we have here. first content span which was up here somewhere why don't we just 
play around with this and see where each of these content span lies. Okay, so let's let's go with content span number four. For now, this is just for testing purposes, so you guys can more or less understand how it all works. So let's save this. Oh, again. Sorry about that, guys. For services, services, add to menu. So now we got service link, and now we're going to put another one here. Let's say um, portfolio. Portfolio, and we're going to add content number six or some seven. And we're going to add this to the menu. And now let's save the menu. And we see where this, um, where the scrolling is going to occur. Where is it going to land? Does it re refresh? So now let's see where portfolio lands. Okay, it lands over here. I probably want this to land around, around here somewhere. And then services. Let's see where this lands. So almost, almost the same place. Okay, so. Let's let's do something else here. If you notice that when you click on portfolio, it's smooth, but it can be smoother. And one way to do that is to add this um, add-on. So you go to extensions, and it's called Smooth Scroll. Install this, and that's pretty much all you have to do.